This is Bob Anderson from Factory Direct Modulars. <clears throat> I thought that uh, I would do an updated version of the concept of rent versus buy with a little added feature on the end that is very important for you to grasp um, when, uh, when uh, trying to make the decision to buy slash build a house. Um, you'll see the, the ending is, is really the most important, but I got to do the basic up front for you to understand what it is I, I'm trying to present. So what I did <clears throat> is I went out and looked on uh, rent, rent online.org or something like that. And I got the uh, three bedroom properties in the state of North Carolina, since that's the center of where we build our houses between Virginia and South Carolina, North Carolina. And I got the average for the whole state of North Carolina on a three bedroom property, what it costs to rent in today's market. And that is $1,126 is the average rent for a three bedroom uh, apartment, house, whatnot, <clears throat> throughout the whole state of North Carolina. As many of you know, in Asheville, <laughs> you wish it was $1,126 or Charlotte or Raleigh. And then of course, you know, there's other parts of North Carolina like Rowan County or whatnot, or Roland, North Carolina, where you'd be like, $1,126, that's expensive. So anyways, my point is this, I gotta go off something. So what I decided to do was take two of our three bedroom, two bath houses and do a cost estimate and then do a um, and do an actual payment calculation to determine where you would be at if you actually built a house versus renting. Hence, rent versus own. And so, what I did is I picked the Augusta, which is a sixteen hundred and ten square foot three bedroom two bath house. There's a reason I picked this house. That's what's at the end of the video. And then our, there's our factory direct special which is the least expensive three bedroom, two bath house that we have on our website. Okay. As of the time that I made this video, I do have a less expensive house. I just haven't posted it yet, but I mean, you know, here we are. So <clears throat> what I did is I said, okay, I took the, the base model homes in both cases off the website. The Augusta is 179.2 and the factory direct special is 150 grand. Now, our prices, again, as it says on our website, is for us to actually build your foundation, to actually deliver your house, to actually set your house, to actually trim your house, to actually connect it to heating and air, novel concept, and actually give you four by six platform steps and decks off of all entrances to that house. I mean, basically build you a house and connect to existing water and sewer. That's what that price means. Not some number that means nothing without all the other pieces. So anyways, <clears throat> then what I did is I just picked a random price of what people I've been seeing paying for land and whatnot, picked 35 grand. And then I took improvements for that land being like a well and a septic. Let's just say you needed that or connections to city water and sewer, tap fees, that kind of stuff, whatever, put in a driveway, $15,000. In the case of the Augusta, the base model home with those prices, puts you at 229, 200. The factory direct special puts you at 200 grand. Now again, <clears throat> these are the prices today based off of our government printing $5 trillion and thinking that it doesn't really matter to you that your house prices have gone up. But anyways, whatever. So these are the prices as of now for us to build these these two houses for you on a piece of land that's 35 grand and, and fifteen thousand dollars for improvements so if i if i if you went and got the the uh most common loan that first time home buyers get which is an fha loan now there are usda loans also which i didn't do those calculations but they're relatively similar um which are no money down and the fha is three and a half percent down so anyways, if we do the FHA loan off of an interest rate of three and a half percent, your principal and interest fixed rate, your principal and interest is 1,029. Your insurance, which is 
you know, if you use the insurance agents that I recommend will be no more than $55 a month. If you use the insurance agents offered by um, a captive group that starts with a C, um, you'll be paying more than that. But that's another story. So anyways, then your taxes, I use the average tax rate in the state of North Carolina, which is seven cents for every, for every thousand. So your monthly payment is $134 in property taxes. And your MI off of 229 is $162, which puts your total principal and interest at $1,380 for the Augusta based off of these assumptions. And for the factory direct special, same assumptions, puts you at $1,212. So you're gonna say to me, well, Bob, that's more than the rent which it is more than the rent. And I'm not gonna give you some lie now as my CPA license, which is sitting right there on the wall, would not allow me to do. I'm not gonna give you the lie that, oh, you get a tax break and all that kind of stuff because of the interest you pay and blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. That tax break only kicks in after you've exceeded your standard deduction. And only the dollar for dollar, only a dollar for dollar after that deduction. So. You're not getting a tax break is my point. So anyways, I'm not gonna feed you that lie that a retailer would. So anyways, <clears throat> the reason I bring this up for here is this payment doesn't change. It massages a little because of property taxes. It may massage a little because of your homeowner's insurance. But in essence, this is your payment for 30 years. This is not your payment for 30 years. This is subject to your landlord changing your rent. So what I did is I looked at the average rent in 2021 versus 2022, and the increase was $36. So making that assumption that $36 is a you know, standard or an average, seven years from now, you'd be at break even on this house, on what you'd be paying in rent versus this house seven years later, again, 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 again. So from that point, you'd be at break even. On this house here, it's two years out. You'd be at break even. Again, you're still renting it versus owning it. But that's your actual fair comparison of rent to own based on today's market, which has, you know, in my opinion, probably $30,000 in lumber, fl lumber fluff. I don't know if that's gonna be permanent uh, like I said in some of my other videos, is this a mass reset or is this is this transitory? I think people are starting to realize that this is actually a mass reset for the most part and not transitory. Um, but, you know, hey, why would the government tell us the truth? <laughs> Anyways, now for the most important part of the last half of this video, okay? I'm going to tell you something. I started this business because I grew up in a very low middle class family. And um, I didn't, I don't, I, don't, I don't see myself being somebody that wants to be out in the world taking advantage of people who really are just looking for help, just looking for a house, looking for a solution. And I'll be honest with you, this industry is full of sharks. Um, <clears throat> In you know, and, and if your alternative is talking to a realtor, well, you've just gone from one shark pit to another. These are great white sharks over here at, you know, these, these retail centers, and those are tiger sharks over there in the realtor section. So you decide which shark pen you want to get in. You want to get eaten at whole, or do you want to get eaten in pieces? Um, so there's not much solution out there for the average family who's trying to come up with you know, a solution for their housing needs and they need somebody to help them. And they need them to be honest and it's not just in it for a buck, but in it for the, for the intent. So let me give you a piece of the intent. Let's take the Augusta. I'm gonna wipe this off here for a second. Let's get rid of my, my least expensive house and let's talk about the Augusta, all right? The Augusta is a house, a specific house that comes from 
Holmes Building Systems out of Robbins, North Carolina. It's a fully packed house, smooth flat ceilings, can lights, stainless steel appliances, uh, soft closed cabinets, cultured marble sinks, blah, 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 blah. It's from the preferred series. It's our top selling series of houses. So anyways, <clears throat> seven miles from where I'm standing, sitting right now doing this video, there is a retail sales center that actually has that house on display, okay? And uh, so I thought, well, why don't we use that as a comparison of how this all fits with the rent-to-own scenario? So that, that location starts with a C, largest retail chain in the United States. You probably get who it is. So anyways, what are they selling the Augusta for? Well, I'll tell you, they're selling it for $177,200. It's right on their website. Well, you might sit there and say, but Bob, that's, that's less than you're selling it for. Well, yeah, isn't that neat how they did that? Now let's talk about what they forgot to put in that price. How about the foundation? Which is $13,000. How about the heating and air? Which is $8,000. How about the set of the house? You have to, have to have a crew to actually set the house on that foundation, which is $6,000. How about the crane to actually lift the house and put it on the foundation? 120-ton crane picks that house up, puts it on the foundation. That's uh, $4,000. How about the trim? You want to trim the inside of the house, make the marriage lines all match up, do the ends of the house, lay the carpet, all that kind of stuff. That would be another trim. $5,500. $5,500. And then you got your plumbing and electrical connection to the house, which is four grand. And then you got your steps and decks, your, let's say, platforms, four by six platforms, pressure treated wood, that kind of stuff. Steps and decks, $2,400. And then you got to deliver the house. <laughs> You're not going to live on it, live in it on the, at the factory, are you? Delivery, three grand. Okay. Now, what's the interesting part about all these numbers? That's included in that one seventy nine two on our website. Okay, but it's not included on theirs. So, what does that bring you to? Well. Brings you to uh, brings you to two twenty three one hundred dollars versus one seventy nine two. Now, do you see the sleight of hand in their marketing? <laughs> yeah, Warren Buffett's got them trained well. So, anyways, that would be a variance of forty three thousand nine hundred dollars. So how long would it take you, based off of this scenario, to break even on that? Well, that's the, that's the cool part. 13 years versus seven. Take you 13 years to break even. 13 years. Almost double it is with us. But I'm going to give you the most dynamic part. You ready? What's the difference in the payments over 30 years if you buy the house from them versus us? And we're fortunate enough to use the same lenders that I use versus some of the shyster lenders that they use. And I really try to use that as, as sparingly as I can. It's factual, but anyways. $1,608 versus our $1,380 which is a difference of 228. That difference of 228 is not 
this $43,900 in purchase price anymore. It's now $82,080. In making the decision to buy your house from us versus the people with the big C on their, in front of their store. $82,080. So when I sit here and I say that we're here for good intentions, um, I put my money where my mouth is. So anyways, um, have a good day. I hope that this helped a little bit. Keep in mind, everybody's scenario is different. Everybody's location they live in, in, in North Carolina, now, South Carolina, Virginia, whatever is different. I get all that. But this is the best I can do as a generic. But don't forget, don't make an $82,000 mistake. <sighs> Please don't do that, at least. Talk to you later. Bye.